Hey guys, half click up here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of Fizza Friday. Pro tip, boys. If you're going to continue riding into the cold snap, check your tire pressures. Because if you, let's go 34. If you have a motorcycle like the FZ6R that does not have any kind of electronic aids, you know, like TPMS, then you have no idea until it's too late if your tire pressures are too low. And so let's see where we're at. 19.3, boys. That's lower than track day pressures. Unacceptable. <laughs> In fact, I run 30 PSI on a track day. That's crazy, man. These things were practically flat for all intensive traction purposes. Okay. Ooh, Evelyn, your wheel's dirty. They so dirty. She is a dirty girl, though. She is. Yep. Okay. 27 and a half. Not as bad as the front was, but... Mm-hmm. Let's go. Yeah, man, what a beautiful day. Fast forward to an entire Friday gone by, boys. And here we are. Hello, Evelyn. So, I want to show you guys something. If you were with me last Fizzer Friday, we lost our mount. Our B camera mount went bye bye. And <laughs> when I uh, went to take it off, the whole thing just fell apart in my hands. Like, plastic does after years of use so well that being said enter the Ulanzi yeah Ulanzi is a little Chinese company um, that actually makes pretty high quality stuff man and the reason why let me <laughs> walk around over here the reason why you know what maybe I should hold on I'm not going to have any room to do anything because we're fixing to put this on there, guys, so that we can properly vlog. Let's see. We'll scoot her back. Make some room. Yep. Okay. Now then. So, yeah, we'll put the wheel straight. Oh, look. Here's more pieces of the... Okay. Oh, chuck that. Oh, golly, chuck that. Okay, so, um, the reason why, gosh, guys, I'm always scatterbrained, right? The reason why Ulanzi stuff is actually really good is because it's metal. And in case you guys wondered about my rear-facing track day camera, um, this is the Ulanzi piece. This piece is awesome. It has not budged one bit since the day I put it on. It's been on here for over a year now, almost two years really. And uh, that guy just rides like that. Very stable. So, check it out. Uh, and they even have little quality control certificates in there, and that's cute. Yeah. Okay. Um, so here it is. And it's got a little GoPro camera mount piece as well. Also metal. This has weight to it. So nothing about this unit whatsoever is plastic, right? Yeah, wind's gonna take that. Alright, so let's have a look see. Nice. Very precise movement. And by the way, this was $15 on Amazon. This is gonna come like this or so. So how do we want to do this? We want it to be out of the way like this perhaps yeah we want this to be on the outside so let's see what that's gonna look like it's coming down like that. oh yeah already it's getting stout look at that super 
Okay. I don't know. How do we want to do that? It's cool because you can do all the things, you see. It... Stop that. Everything is 360 adjustable. So we can tighten that down like that. And then... Get this guy. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Dude. What a nice day. Perfect riding weather, boys. Perfect riding weather. Especially in the mornings, man. Like this morning was... Nice and cool. Screw this guy down. Uh, ah, there you are. Yeah, that's going to be a nice vantage point, man. You know what else is nice about this? Is that we can turn it around. We can flip it. And that can be a track day angle as well. Auto work nicely. Alright, and so what do you say we hit some twisties on FM4 on the way home. And see how she performs. Let's go. All right, boys, how's this work? Vibration should be practically nil. That, that metal assembly is pretty dang stable, pretty solid. I guess we'll know once we edit the footage. Coming up here on FM4. Ah, so what all has gone down since last Thursday Friday? Well, we went to Moto America at Coda. It's fantastic as always. Uh, all my guys won, man. And oddly enough. And one rider I did not mention previously was Sean Diddle. Oh, I had some tire spin back there, man. Ah, Sean Dillon Kelly, otherwise known as SDK. Did not mention him. Love me some SDK, man. He, uh, he's been bouncing around various teams. And uh, he's pretty solid right now. He's on a BMW, believe it or not. And uh, he's doing fairly well. It was absolutely phenomenal to watch SDK beat Cam Bobier in uh, race number two, coming out of the very last turn. Turn 20 at Coda. He got him on the outside, man, for the win. It was awesome. And another cool thing about SDK is that uh, his race team, his crew chief is actually his his teammate, right? So after he won that race, um, his teammate slash crew chief rode up to him and like they exchanged some, you know, emotional congratulatory stuff back and forth. Man, it was it was awesome, you know. And uh, Josh Heron uh, looks like he is going to basically take it all. Uh, this coming weekend, as in tomorrow and uh, Sunday, at New Jersey Motorsports Park. It's going to be the last race of the season, and Josh has all but sealed the deal on that. He could have sealed it in Austin, but uh, he didn't win. I think he needed to win two races. He won one, and then Cam got second in that in that uh the race against sdk where yeah you guys understand so and then in the super sport class match goats um crashed out in the first race but then he won the second race and he's such a nice dude man my kids love him and it got to the point throughout the weekend where he recognized them and two of my kids actually made drawings for him and got to give them their their art pieces in person and he was so appreciative man like what a stellar human being you know and uh he asked my kids do you think i can win tomorrow as in sunday and sure enough he did so that was awesome very happy for matthew schultz and he uh he's leading the super sports series as well and hopefully he takes it all as of this coming weekend in other news we finally had the bolt pickup folks come through uh, for the month of September. The day before yesterday was the last Wednesday of the month, and that's when the bolt pickup truck comes by. And we got rid of probably 25 or 30 boxes, man, out of the garage. So that's finally starting to shape up. I need to figure out how I'm going to orient the toolboxes and all that stuff. Maybe pick up a new toolbox. I don't know yet. But uh, just make a proper shop set up. You know what I mean? So... I'll be working on that soon, if not this weekend. And um, I think that here in a minute, when I get home, 
I'm going to shoot a second video and it will be our new 2024 edition of the FZ6R oil change. Why not? I've got a fresh batch of Motul and a high, a high flow filter sitting at the house, ready to go. And uh, Evelyn will be nice and warm. And I figure why not knock that out and film a, a short updated tutorial while we're at it. Sounds like a plan. So look for that to pop out sometime shortly thereafter. Um, you see this episode of Fizzer Friday come out. And by the way, I do believe this is episode 60 of Fizzer Friday. Uh, as usual, so much for hitting the twisties, right? It's the nature of the beast, man. In the morning time, we're with the morning work traffic. And in the evening time, we're with the afternoon work traffic. No way around it, boys. Uh, picking up a little bit of speed here. Fantastic day, boys. Happy it's Friday. Beautiful scenery. Smells fresh. Yeah. Super fresh. Once again, I almost pass 1232. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. I never come this way backwards, you know? It... All right. And so now you follow this thing for three miles. Ugh. Wow. Almost lost it. <laughs> That's how you follow this thing for three miles. Yeah, Evelyn's a little rougher on here than Trenda. Holy mess. <laughs> uh, last Thursday Friday, we filmed in the morning and came from that way, from my neighborhood, headed back that way. Uh, yeah, so. Anyways, uh, uh, I better hold on with both hands, boys. We don't want to dump her on the a little country road. Isn't that pretty though? So yeah, that's what's been going on. That's what's coming down the pipe. Some garage organization, shoot a quick little oil change tutorial, kind of update with the times. Oh man, ugh, ugh, rough. Ugh. And uh, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm happy with the mount. Maybe it's because I'm hauling ass. If you think I was doing 47 miles an hour, it's like 35 or 40 through here. Let me settle down. Golly, man, not still rough. <coughs> still rough. Yeah. Um. <laughs> that's all I got, boys. I like the new mount. That'll work. So, click buttons and follow things. And this has been me. And that's been you. This is a half click up Moto Vlogs channel. Boys, I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace and goodbye.